Okay, so in this video, I am going to show you, um, as this is part one of game design. So we're gonna start with Cinema 4D, a uh, online, uh, not an online, a 3D game creation, uh, uh, or animation software that allows you to create 3D objects such as this one. So, uh, today we're going to learn about the basics. So, when you first start up Cinema 4D, which you get from Axon.net, um, all the links are inside of the description. So, let's start with just regular movement basics of Cinema 4D. Alright, so, for general mo modeling for a game, um, what you normally want to start with is... Uh, learning how to work the interface. So alt click is move around. Um, you can move uh, or slide the screen using this button here. Uh, rotating is all it can. Zoom in by using the uh, mouse wheel or you can use this. Moving your mouse left and right. So um, we have the three axes. Y, X, and Z. Um, those are those are the three ones that you need to know. All your primitives are going to be up in this little corner. Uh, all your splines, which you absolutely need to use to make a game. These are very important too, but that'll be in another tutorial. Uh, how to use the NURBS, which are extremely helpful tools that Cinema 4D has to offer. You have uh, these are very important tools to use with the NURBS, which are uh, such as symmetry, which you can make stuff uh, click over the Y axis or uh, over the Z X axis, which we'll learn about later. Um, the connect object allows you to connect objects together. Um, so one of the first things we want to do is just create a simple cube, um, which is going to appear in the middle of the plane. Um, and then create a sphere. Now you won't be able to see it, so you're going to have to move it up a little. Alright, so you have your cube and you have your sphere. So, um, try to move your sphere up and down. As you can see, it goes right through the square. So, maybe you want to create some kind of you know, little box with a top on it. You know, you can can simply use this connect um, this connect object. Uh, this is the high. This is the uh, object object viewer. This is where you view all your objects. You can drag and click to select multiple, or shift click if you want to select multiple. Uh, that'll do all of them from one uh, from here to here with just one shift click. So, you, you want to highlight these two, drag them under connect object. Make sure the arrow is pointing down and not sideways like this. Make sure it's pointing down. And it makes them under. So, this can become one object. Alright, so when you move the sphere, it still does that. But when you move the connect object, it moves both. And if you want to make that one object, Simply click the connect object and push C, or push this over here, which makes the object editable. So you can push C. Now it's all one object. You can rename this object box with ball. All right. You can now move that around. That's all one object that you can texture. Oops. This preview here is special. previewing something right there while I don't need to be. But that's okay, it's not covering up anything. So, um, now, now that you have that down, there's a couple more things you need to know. Movement is, of course, just using this, or free movement is using this middle one. Uh, resizing, rotating, use these, uh, 
use these as these are very important for animation and rotating. That's the basis of most animation. You can just click anywhere in between these circles to do some random um, random uh, rotation there. Anyway, um, if you want to undo anything, just push Control Z. And that'll simply undo um, everything in order of which you've done them. Okay, so everything up here is pretty simple. Uh, most of these things you don't actually need to know unless you're an advanced, 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 advanced uh, modeler. So, um, what you m one of the most thing you need to know how to use this, which is uh, this is the polygon tool, uh, the edge tool, and the point tool. As you can see, it shows you everything right here. So, as I click that, it goes down there and shows you the point tool. So, um, what we have here is our box. You can use live selection, which you're going to need to know how to use, to select certain, uh, you select the mode, and that'll select what you want. You move that around, just those specific polygons, and you can see how it distorts it a little. Alright, um, so we move on to, uh, animation is normally just controlled all down here. It's already down here for you. The materials, which you're going to have to get used to if you're going to be making a video game, because textures and shaders make make it look more realistic. Um, so, if you go into here, you see we have multiple things. The coordinates, prong, which uh, for, the, for the ball means that uh, that's what makes it circular, is that uh, thong is to make that um, more round and less uh, less square boxish boxish. All right, so um, pretty much covered a lot. Just the c just simply the controls, making it editable, uh, moving things around. Uh, get used to moving around the interface because you're gonna have to look at things from different views. So, from this tutorial, we move on to next, uh, using, using, uh, using some common, common looking objects to create more advanced objects. So, we'll go from this ball to something much, 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 much bigger. Um, so, um, oh, also about rendering. If you ever want to render anything to see its final thing, just click render view. That'll render everything. There's, there's really one right here too, so if you just want to click out of that, it'll only render it for a second. If you want to render a couple of frames, you want to do make preview. But, um, that's what this is down here. But for now, let's just stay here and, um, next tutorial we're going to move on to learning learning more uh, and getting a lot harder into cinema 4d as you're going to need to know a lot in order to make a video game especially having to do with modeling